But we have to come to grips with the fact that ladies are the most amazing, beautiful, intelligent, meanest motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> I, I spent my whole life wanting to get the girl, right? Then I got married and realized I am fucking afraid of women. <laughs> you understand what it's like? You know, and you know, I gotta be honest, I'm married to a black woman. You know, and you know, that's a beautiful thing, right? At first. <laughs> At first. You know, then it kind of turns into like, you know, it's like you're married to a parole officer that likes to have sex with you every blue moon. <laughs> it's a little different. The fun changes, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. You ever been out with your boys having a good ass time and then your phone rings and it's your girl and you feel like you just got pulled over by the police? <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, you, hey, pour me another one. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, everybody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get her out of here. Get her. Oh, my God. Who? she almost caught me having fun. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, I've only been married to a black woman. So, you know, I don't know what it's like to be married to a white woman. It looks fun. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I have one of my best friends. His name is Dan. Uh, he has a white wife. He's white. They match. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that their problems are a little bit different. And they're starting to make me realize, like, oh, there are white problems that are just a little, you know. Dan came to work like, man, the fucking wife was tripping last night. I'm like, what? Well, got into an argument, huh? He's like, hell yeah, worst eight minutes of my life. I'm like, what? <laughs> I got to come see this. I go to his house, his wife is at the sink, she's doing dishes, very passive aggressively. I noticed that, you know, um, from observing Dan's wife, uh, <laughs> white women are very passive aggressive. They do things where they want you to ask them what's wrong, and then that sparks the argument, <laughs> right? She was at the sink doing the dishes with the flat booty, you know? She was like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, why is her booty so aggressive right now? <laughs> she was holding it so tight. He's like, see what I mean? I've got to ask her what's wrong, and then we're going to argue. I'm saying, so never ask her. <laughs> Just never ask her, and you're never going to argue. She, he's like, hon, is everything OK? No, it's not OK, Dan. You left the fucking snowmobile behind the Subaru, and I missed the bake sale. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, that's a fun-ass problem. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> If that's all it is, I'm down. <laughs> Me and Dan hung out the other day, went to the strip club, stayed in there till 4.30 in the morning. Wow. Neither one of us checked in with the wife. I know, right? <laughs> Dan, you know, his wife's wife. He don't give a damn. I'm like, Dan, you know, it's fucking 2 o'clock. I stopped, I stopped, I quit having fun at 2.30 because I knew better. I'm like, you know what, no more fun. It's 2.30, Dan. <laughs> By 3.30, I'm like, yeah, I need somebody to shoot this club up tonight. <laughs> I need to either get hurt or be on the news doing an interview. Like, yeah, they was, they was in here shooting like a motherfucker, man. That's why I'm late, so. 4.30, I'm looking for apartments on Zillow. Like, yeah, I'm homeless, bro. I can't even, I, I know I can't go home, Dan, so I don't know what to do. We're walking out, 4.30 in the morning. I'm like, Dan, I'm scared. Um, <laughs> It's 4.30, like, what are we gonna tell our wives? He's like, we're gonna tell them that it's fucking 4.30 and we had a damn good time. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, can I come over there? <laughs> Call her, see if you can have company for like a month. I just need, I need somewhere to, to, to lay low. Um, sure enough, Dan goes home, walks in, stumbling drunk. Hey, honey, what's going on? I'm drunk, and uh, he had glitter on his eye. <laughs> glitter only comes from strippers. I feel like that's like stripper lotion that has the glitter in it. Might be some glitter, glitter winches in here. But um, <laughs> she said, there's fucking glitter on your eye. He said, yeah, probably one of the strippers. She said, you know what? Go to bed, asshole. And that was it. <laughs> the next morning, he calls me to see how I did with my wife. I'm like, bro, I'm still in the parking lot trying to figure out my life. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere near the house. I am homeless. I just ordered a pizza to my license plate. I am fucking surviving right now. 
And you know how it'd be, fellas, when you got that white homeboy who just wants to liberate your black ass? He's like, bro, you're the man of the house. Have some balls. I said, Dan, you don't know shit. I got the dick, she got the balls. <laughs> so I decided to go home and face my punishment. I'm driving home. You ever notice how nice you are in traffic when you don't want to get where you're going? You be like, oh no, come on, come on, bro, come on, come on, come on. And I'm riding home and Dan's words are just ringing in my head. And I'm like, maybe he's on to something. I'm the man of the house. I pay the bills in this motherfucker. I brought the dick to the relationship. I do 88% of the fucking. I don't make her hump like that. You lay down, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be a man. If I don't wanna hear her mouth, I'm not gonna hear her mouth. So I hit a tree. Um, <laughs> Yeah, found a great tree, you know, nice and fat, you know. <laughs> Took my seatbelt off like this was the only way. <laughs> Flew through the windshield, I was in the air like, yep, this was it. <laughs> Woke up in the hospital. I heard the doctors talking over me, like, I don't know, he's, I don't know how he's still alive, you know, all his bones are broken. He's a smoothie. <laughs> We're gonna have to call his wife. I, I, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I grabbed his collar like that. He said, he's trying to tell me something. I said, yeah. yeah. I've been with you since 9.30. Yeah. 